Dogs are one of life's greatest joys. They cheer us up, entertain us, and become our best friends. Dogs often become part of the family. However, bringing in additional people or animals can make their life a little more difficult. And unfortunately, there are times when you and your dog will need to be around other animals and people. So it's important to know that your dog will be able to behave in those situations and in others. It's easy and mindful to think of your dog as just being playful and energetic when they're actually misbehaving. You might even think that some of the things they do are cute or funny, but these behaviors can indicate that your dog is or has developed some negative behaviors which can carry on throughout their years and actually hinder their quality of life. So here are seven signs you can look out for to see if your dog might be in need of some training. Walking your dog should be a pleasurable experience for all involved. But it's time to intervene if your dog starts becoming hostile when they see another dog. It can be challenging to vocally advise a dog to calm down when those instincts kick in. The right way to socialize with dogs can be learned through training. This is essential for your dog's safety and well-being, as well as that of any other dogs or humans you may come across while walking. Meeting new individuals may cause your dog to demonstrate aggressive traits such as jumping, barking, or nipping. Even though your dog may just be trying to play, aggression towards humans is dangerous for both your dog and others as well. Dogs need to bark. It's their voice, but there are limits. For owners, excessive barking can be annoying and disruptive, and for people around, it can be scary and intimidating. Training a dog to remain calm is crucial for everyone's peace of mind. However, remember that dogs naturally bark, so when they do, they don't instantly realize that it's not something they shouldn't be doing. It's up to you as a dog owner to not only allow the dog to act within their natural instincts, but be able to handle it in a way that keeps control of the situation. Dogs enjoy the excitement of a walk, but if your dog lunges or tries to run off in different directions, a fun outing can turn quite stressful. Walking on a leash is not a natural behavior for a dog. It's a skill they have to learn through proper training as your dog won't automatically know how to walk on a leash. Dogs love to explore and sniff everything in sight, often in places you don't want to go. And you don't want it to turn into a case of the dog walking you, especially if the dog is a large dog. If your dog is a dog that's prone to pulling while on the leash, it could not only physically hurt you, but also the dog. So it's very important to teach your dog good leash behavior, especially at a young age, for the safety and protection of you and your fur baby. You should aim to spend as much time with your dog as possible. Dogs should be able to be left alone without excessive barking, being destructive, and without crying for long periods of time. Your dog may get scared when you leave the house, thinking that you won't come back. So with this fear comes improper behavior because the dog is unable to control their fear or anger. Training your dog to deal with separation anxiety will help your dog gain confidence and self-assurance. This will also help build trust between you and your dog. And once this happens, it's likely the separation anxiety will decrease. When a dog bites, lunges, or growls at a toy or food, they're exhibiting resource guarding behavior. And it affects all dog breeds in the same way, but the degree of severity varies from dog to dog. When someone approaches them, dogs who are possessive of their food bowls, toys, beds, or preferred place may act inappropriately. The item could be something of yours that the dog has claimed as theirs, like a piece of clothing. In the wild, it may be instinctive for a dog to guard what's theirs, but since this is a trait that is deep in their nature, many dogs still carry this tendency today, but to an unnecessary extreme. If this behavior is not controlled early, it can escalate, causing a lot of dogs to be rehomed or even euthanized. Now, 
Not many people want your dog jumping all over them, especially when you're outside for a walk or at a dirty, muddy dog park. It's also embarrassing when people come over to visit and your dog is jumping all over them, not listening when you're telling them to get down. When a dog leaps on kids, the kids may feel threatened and this can be a serious issue. For all people and children, this can result in injury and is super inappropriate behavior. Dogs enjoy chewing, and they don't naturally understand why it's okay to chew a toy and not something of yours. Reprimanding a dog after the event won't make them quit the undesirable conduct, it will only make them more confused. They're not able to distinguish what is something they are allowed to chew and what they're not allowed to chew until you teach them. Make sure you're giving your dog clear, consistent instruction and remember, things take time. Giving your dog mental stimulation and a lot of chew toys will also help keep your dog's mind occupied. There are so many benefits to training your dog. Your dog can engage in activities they like while remaining safe and under control. So start with basic obedience training such as sitting, stay, and coming when you call them. Once you're able to get your dog trained, they will be able to engage in activities including running off leash and being around your friends and strangers. Since dogs are intelligent creatures who enjoy learning, training is the best way to prevent boredom and give them directions so they can be the best dog and feel comfortable and confident in their own skin.